Hello, I'm Victoria Finlay and I'm from the Alliance of Religions and Conservation. And I'm here in Naulakabag, the garden of the seventh guru. He touched this ground when he was a little boy. He walked around and he ran. And there's a story that he ran and that he knocked one of the beautiful flowers of the garden. And when he knocked it, he realized that this was something that he should never do again. And he dedicated his life to protecting God's nature. So what more perfect place to celebrate the fourth Sikh Environment Day than here? On this day, we know that more than 2,000 Gurdwaras, organizations, schools, businesses are celebrating Sikh Environment Day, not just by saying, Happy Sikh Environment Day. They're celebrating it by real actions. And this garden, which we'll just walk around a little bit, this garden is one of the real actions. Eight years ago, this garden was like nothing. It was like jungle. It was a historical garden of the gurus and yet they had forgotten it. And it was only when a couple of really dedicated Sikh leaders came and they decided that they would dedicate their next years to transforming this garden into something that the seventh guru and his grandfather, the sixth guru, would have recognized. And look, it's just very beautiful and very sacred. And I think it's a real example of what Sikh Environment Day can do. It's about saying, it's about taking responsibility and saying, this is our faith and this is what we're going to follow. So happy Sikh Environment Day. It's a great honor to be here. I'm really humbled by all the seva that I've heard about today and all the stories that I've heard.